Hello and good afternoon, y'all. Welcome back to Play vs. Fall 2022 High School Championship, of course, featuring Super Smash Bros. Ultimate down here, and of course, the Canyon Arizona Athletic Association, representing some good-ass games, and of course, joining me once again, I got it this time. How are you doing this this side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm used to it by now, honestly. Like whichever way they flip us, you know, if you're mm. you're on I'm usually on this side or I can be on this side. Like totally. It's all water under the bridge for us, right? Exactly, we don't care exactly. which side we on. <laughs> we're getting used to it. <laughs> how how you been? Is, you know, how's how's your afternoon been though, Suplex? I know oh, we've been seeing we saw some exciting games, obviously, earlier in the morning, but Yes, we did. This time around, we're in for some. Uh, we're for in for some different players. Of course, I want to just introduce the two teams. We got mm. the Western School uh, of Science and Technology, uh, the WSST one, and they are represented by SG Ace of Spades and Zoron, and they're going to be playing against the Phoenix College Preparatory Academy, who are going to be represented by Dago <laughs> Prince and Sook. Ooh, very interesting. And we do have some fire teams lined up for you today. I do want to mention as well, I mean, I'm really happy to see just how much passion these teams have had. I mean, last time we had the Arkansas Association really able to um, bring out some really fire matches for us. And oh, we saw just how much they love that pep talk, that coach interaction, that, that, that Arkansas team interaction. Tournament has, that Arkansas tournament ended with a bang. Yeah, yeah. That was truly fun. It was a really good time. I mean, on top of it all off, like... Everything we really thought might have happened in that in those sets happened. Like there was no box left unchecked. It was every like firework went off that day. Or like there was some crazy. There was some craziness in our morning. Like I think it yeah. definitely helped energize. Definitely helped energize me for the rest of my day. That's that. That's for sure. Yeah. So I'm expecting some good games today. I mean, I'm sure we have nothing to uh, be disappointed about here. And round play versus and uh, these high school teams have been showing off nothing but incredible play and I'm so happy to see that like not only the skill level at the high school level is this high but mm -hmm. it can only get higher from here and you can see just how much these players push each other and themselves to keep improving and just have fun with the game because when you have a team like that when you have a community like this they keep you going keep you entering tournaments and keep you competitive and just enjoy the thrill and the passion of the game then why would you stop right it's too it's too much fun absolutely absolutely well i think we're just mm. waiting on the players they should be selecting their characters and their stages right now suplex mm. um i don't know what to expect yeah me neither. i feel I like mean... that i feel like that's always the big question to us what yeah. what are we gonna i wonder what we're gonna see what stages we're gonna see so uh what kind of stage selection is gonna be chosen now that's we didn't have smash like... ultimate a beautiful game <laughs> yeah <laughs> we do have like pretty um pretty like free range of not only gameplay styles but also team styles because you have the 3v3 mm -hmm. format and while before we get into let's talk about that for a moment as it is again a 3v3 format it's a team battle and it will be a series of head-to-heads which will be best of five and each winner of that head-to-head -head will win a point for their team each point will be of course so valuable as it is a two out of three um yep. well for, first Contributes. two points Contributes to <laughs> contributes to the best of three victory, which means that yes, you need to win two head-to-head -head sets. Yeah, yes, we right, need to win right. two head-to-head -head sets in order to secure <laughs> that victory for your team. Of course, uh, very interesting format. Of course, you know, not tr it's a little non-traditional because obviously, you know, it's a team-based game in essentially a platform fighter. You don't really see that happen. I mean, uh, obviously, you and I are familiar with crew battles, and that is probably mm. something we can compare to at least to this format. But it's not exactly the same because in a crew battle, you only get one chance. You only get your three stocks. But of course, in this format, you are still playing a best of five head to head, which is the more mm -hmm. traditional way of playing the game. So really says a lot about the fact that there are team elements included because of course, in between sets or during the set, even you will have some coaching, some teammates behind you to cheer you up, give you some advice, maybe figure things out and make those adjustments that will help contribute to the win. So it is very much a team effort to get those two out of three wins. Yeah, I mean, it is also really cool to see that each player gets so many games under their belt in, a, in, a, in like an actual like format like this. Sorry, my words mm -hmm. are in a scramble from me. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, every player getting to participate so much um, not only allows them to develop those skills and that tourney presence of you know, keep those nerves under control, play for the team, play for yourself, keep that strategy in your mind, but also it allows you to develop that kind of connection of not only playing for yourself, but playing for those people who have worked just as hard as you have, right? I mean, fighting games are usually just so, such a solo affair. I mean, 
you're able to just kind of grind on your own. You're able to practice on your own, play online on your own, enter a tournament, go to and go home, and that's it. It just helps. <laughs> it just it just helps foster a community. And honestly, like 100%. that's the that's that's kind of just the end goal, isn't it? Like you know, you go out and meet some people. It doesn't matter if it's Smash, fighting games, some FPS, MOBA, whatever, whatever mm. community you can foster, which is exactly what we're doing right here, is going to be incredible. People can meet new people, make some new friends. Nothing better than that, right, Suplex? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, truly. I mean, above all else, support your locals, and of course, in a pace 100%. Like this, support your schools. Support your schools. Support your schools, support your locals, hey, support your mm. TOs. Like, always make sure they know that you appreciate them, man, because they're always mm. putting in the hard work. Just like, of course, everyone else here today, we got to shout out Play Versus. You know, they're helping out behind the scenes right now, getting everything set up for us. We're still yeah. waiting on that first match, but, you know, I'm pretty sure those players are just warming up, getting ready. You know, it's a lot of mental prep, man. Being a competitor is not... Who said could being a competitor is easy, right? Oh, it's absolutely not. I mean, I can speak for myself. Being a competitor is absolutely... Every week is stressful. And every time you hop back in that ring in a tournament setting, it is, of course stressful but the amount of experience you can gain the amount of people you meet and the amount of overall development you gain as a player just by participating in the bracket whether you go oh two one two four and two i mean hey five and one who it, knows? everyone starts somewhere right you you <laughs> yeah. start oh two or one day suddenly you're top five top eight in the next anyways two, one. all right the yellow coat see dude. if that platform stops moving there we go hey <laughs> It's funny there we go, and we got the and too. we got the updated and we got the updated tags now. Casey and Gummy. Uh huh. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So I'm assuming I'm gonna assume that the players are using the correct. They're tags, this. Though. They're the same players, just yeah. updated. The the tags have been updated to reflect what you know their actual tags, even in game. Say you know Casey and mm -hmm. Gummy. <laughs> yeah, it was a nice last show. Just uh, how the player names matched up. A good start here so far. It's not a Gummy. Put on that pressure. It's tough, it seems, for Joe to get in there when the range of Ridley can be really threatening. Of course, Arsene is the biggest threat to Ridley. Ridley is relatively light. He's not considered a heavyweight, Oof. but Oof. he sure hits like one with that back air. Same way that uh, same way that he took the first stock in the little warm-up match, but Saber Salt did away. Way. Oh, no. Side B, mashing a little too hard. Up B, thankfully going straight up there. Time, right, trying, trying to get the dash deck in. Yeah, Got some more damage before you lose that first dog. It's a down throw, but no follow up. Actually, misses the follow up fair right there. There we go. Gets it in. 30% right now. Arsene meter already building because Joker is currently down. And there he is. This is big. Oh, I really it's like that fade back. Yeah, I like it's that fade so back right there. Oh no, the pineapple. The bonk on the head. One more stock down. Gummy's feeling pretty confident, I'm sure. Very rare, very rare SD for uh, a Joker. Joker usually does not SD, but of course, pineapples always do happen. Smash World does ha doesn't have anything underneath that stage, and Arsene just kind of got stuck right there. Hmm. Little down tilt confirm there into the forward air. That's damage on the board. That miss combo is pretty solid here. Don't need to be long, just threatening. Yeah, a nice way, just jumped. There and it is. That's going to be the big confirm right there. Arsene's extended hitbox on that up smash allows him to confirm off that down air, and Ridley. It's gonna lose it. Let me lose it. Lose Side it. me there. Oh! Ooh. Nice little air dodge. Nice Getting little air line. dodge. This allows him to avoid that. That down air is gonna cause something. Oh, this is big. A counter on a Rebel's Guard, specifically on the up smash. That's gonna give him another Arsene. And this is gonna be big damage. <gasps> down air at a disadvantage. 140%. He's going deep. Gummy's going big for it. Honestly, might as well. Got a stock lead, 47%. Not in too much danger zone. Let that explosion rip! That force press gonna seal that deal. Yummy. Taking that first game. Sealing that reality into... Like, it's really cementing it down as the true <laughs> game one is going to be You're trying to, to think guns. of a lot of analogies. You're, you're making a lot of analogies there, man. Yeah. <laughs> My brain's, like, trying to spin pull two it, at once. Pulling it one. out of your book. Pulling it out of <laughs> pocket. like, you got your word a day calendar or something. Yeah. <laughs> No nah, man, I took a nap. I'm not I'm not warmed up enough for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, very good stuff what? so far. No, good absolutely. I was gonna say absolutely incredible stuff from Gummy, showcasing what makes Ridley pretty pretty good character. And despite the disadvantage matchup that a lot of people will say that Joker 
and Ridley have, you know, Ridley obviously being at a disadvantage compared to Joker. Joker has just a little fast. Ariel's Ridley's not that heavy of a character. He's big. He's easily comboable. But of course, proving otherwise that if you do understand a matchup, anything is possible regardless of the character choice. And Ridley, obviously, with Gummy showing off that they take game number one pretty convincingly, too, I might add. Yeah, really good stuff. I mean, hey, for the WSST, this is a great start. Got that good flow going. And also, for Ridley to be taking this confident of a game against Joker, I like that. I feel like that. Top tier good. like Joker. Consider probably the best in the game by a yeah, lot of people. Potentially. Potentially one of the best in the game. Always up there in, you know, rating charts, tier lists, everything, you name it. But, of course, still got to remember at the end of the day, Joker's still a very technical character to play. So, got to make sure you have those combo roots down, those strings. And just didn't give an opportunity, didn't give Casey an opportunity to really showcase any of those. No fair ones, no drag downs, no grab combos. Kind of just mm. hit them all over the place. Reduced our send meter by just hitting him, keeping him disadvantaged. And that's what... I think the big factor in that game one was. So it's going to be interesting to see what adaptations KC decides to make in game number two. Yeah, I mean, this will be good. I do want to also mention that Ridley as a character can struggle a lot against edgeguarding, and Joker as a character, I can only imagine, is really solid edgeguarding Ridley for the, with those gun shots. Of course, off stage, able to go for the downwards gun, able to go for the Aha, get it off stage. I mean, like actually delaying Ridley's recovery leaves him so incredibly vulnerable to punish, and also because he can't choose, he can't freely choose his angle of recovery off that up. He no, it's scary. not like Fox or Fal. It's not like Fox or Falco where they could kind of do every which way direction. Ridley kind of yeah. only has the four cardinal directions, effectively. Yeah, I mean it's weird too because it's like up, kind of down, like backwards, kind of up, and then forwards, kind of down. Like it's literally just <laughs> up down. Little, little diagonally up, a little yeah. diagonally up the other way, like yeah, no, nah, it's super annoying to work with. <laughs> or like you could, you could angle it slightly down, yeah. But it's not like with Fox or Falco where you could pretty much tilt your stick every which way, and then that's the exact way they're gonna go. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I would much rather that, of course, but for some reason they chose to not do that with Ridley. I'm not really sure why, but I guess he'd be broken with it. I don't know, like. <laughs> Doc really got forced to put the character in the game, and he said, you know what? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean originally he's like, oh, angles. Ridley's too big, man. Can't put him in yeah. the game. Here he is now, the big fella himself. He is pretty big. <laughs> so side B start here. The damage off side B is so, so valuable. Nice little into down smash, up air as well. Make it two. That's 92%. That's a, that's insane. Oh, no, that's an SD. Couldn't get the angle right that time, but very unfortunate. That effectively was an edge guard for Gummy. Coast to yeah. coast. Set them coast to coast. Joker got set off stage. Yep, that's going to be a mash out of the command grab, but as with a lot of Ridleys, they like to just jab if you decide to match out of that side B command grab. You can tell in that recovery for KC just a second ago, they might have been a bit traumatized by that initial pineapple over-angling themselves away from the ledge. Yeah, a little bit of little bit of both worlds right there. One didn't angle enough that time, over angled it, and that cost them a stock both ways either uh, in both games right there. Hmm. That's much attempt there as well. You can see Gummy just fishing for any kind of kill move. Not worried about too, too many counters, just baiting them out like that. And hey, see, down to the last stock. And what's this timer at? <laughs> Wait, yeah, it's a, yeah, the timer's at <laughs> ten minutes. I mean, it's not really going to matter. There's not going to be any timeouts happening. Yeah, I, I don't changing. think we're going to see that many time. I don't think we're going to see that many timeouts. But like, yeah, especially considering how fast this game is going. Look how fast that Arsene meter dropped. Look at, look at that. Just dragged across the stage, and every single second, Arsene just it's like, nope, 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 nope. I got to get out of here, man. <laughs> got to catch the bus, you know, meet the kids. Yeah, I got, I got a flight in a couple hours. Like, line up terrible. Has been out with the Rebels guard, but no dice this time. Yeah, let's go of it a little bit too early. Tries to go for the side B. That is a kill move as well. And it gets harder and harder. Not only that, it gets harder and harder to mash out of it the higher percent you are. So it basically becomes mm -hmm. even more of a guaranteed kill. Oh, it's ridiculous. Look at this thing. It just drags you across the whole stage. It is violent. I just call it advantage. as I see. I just call it as I see it, man. <laughs> like that is That's perfect, catchers, that is picture perfect timing <laughs> to showcase yeah. exactly what I was talking about. That side B is what's gonna take that game number two for Gummy. Mm. Yeah, dude. I mean. I can't show a better example. I was like straight out of the Wikipedia article. <laughs> <laughs> take a really picture sorry. and immediately... Take a picture is like moments before disaster. 100%. <laughs> yeah, just gripping. <laughs> so, it's a picture of really like... Just really catalog. like big, big claw coming at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
bad. You do, you don't want to get grabbed by that side beat. Is at least I'm pretty sure there's like an average of about twenty five plus percent. Like yeah, it's it, kind of ridiculous. It, it does more damage based on distance too. So you exactly. saw how they uh, they got dragged from one end of the stage to the other. That was easily about twenty five, maybe even closer to thirty percent worth of yeah. damage. Not only that, it has the knockback of the like the knockback of the move is what it is, and it it proved it's, that it can take stocks, man. Yeah, no, some good stuff. I mean, Ridley overall. I feel like a very counterbalanced character with how focused Ridley is on like really getting you off stage and keeping you there. And then once you get back on stage, he's kind of, it's a little bit weaker. His neutral isn't, of course, amazing. Fireball's really, really slow option. His aerials are really solid. His grounded options, like down tilt, are really good. But of course, if you can bait them out, it's not going to be nothing but a clean game for Ridley. However, and I, think that's the, hard I think that's the main thing that we need to keep out for in game number three is the fact that I don't think KC has actually tried to bait out Ridley a lot. That's a, mm. that's a very big advantage to Joker. Like we said, Arsene, base Joker, uh, he has incredible edge guard potential. He has a really good recovery, despite it being a tether as well. Like A lot of people dislike tether recoveries, but the Joker came out and they're like, wait, this tether recovery is really good. Not a ball. It has so much range. <laughs> It has so much range, like it goes mm. super deep. Our set, our set is considered a worse recovery than the tether. Yeah, yeah, which is shocking. But I mean, when you when you get down to the numbers, tether zips you right there whenever you yep. want to, right? As long as you lock on, you can swing down however long you want. But anytime, the moment your hook's on there, you can just zoop and you're there. You're good to go. Very difficult yeah, to think... frame. I think the one thing we're seeing, we're I'm missing from KC is maybe edge guard opportunities. That's one thing that. You have to praise Gummy for just hasn't allowed themselves to be put in a disadvantaged situation that really plays into Joker's strength. Once again, just mm. coming out swinging every time our sun's out, they're not afraid. They're playing a slower neutral, yes, but they're making sure that when they can, when they get those uh, those neutral wins and push their advantage state, they're going to get rid of our as quickly as possible. Oh yeah, you do not want to fight against that thing. I mean, you could put just our sun in the game and just take away Joker, and I still don't want to fight that. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, Arsene is absolutely insane. Like, you're, we're we're so lucky he's only here for, you know, 10, 20 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> At a time. Stuff. At a time, yeah. I mean, more, he's going to visit multiple times. That's a guarantee. <laughs> Rebel's Guard is is one heck of a it was one heck of a move for Joker. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot, actually. A counter without it's It's, it's an one of the counter fastest hitbox. counters in the game. Yes, it doesn't do any knockback, but the fact that it... Mm. It raises your Arsene meter. Like, that is so invaluable. Yeah. You take less damage, too. I mean... Take less damage. Like, you don't take knockback. You charge mm. probably one of the most broken mechanics in the game. <laughs> That's a good stuff. I mean, even without Arsene, I would still say that move's amazing. Honestly. All right, we're still just waiting for the stage selection of the two characters. And I think stage selection is very, very important here. Uh, both times, I think those stages relatively small. I think you might want uh, something a little bit bigger. So Joker does have the ability to camp just because, again, gun. Gun is probably, to a lot of people, one of the most annoying special moves in the game. It does it does <laughs> do hit stun if you're like right in front of them. So you can get disrupted if you're in the air, if you're on the ground, and then... Obviously, it's very hard to react when you get disrupted like that. Just, you know, break out a combo or something. You can approach yep. with the gun. You can fade away with the gun. You can use it off a ledge to get into a position where you maybe grab. You can do some uh, gun tech movements. You you, Ooh, you yeah. use the neutral B button at a certain height, and then you just slide across the stage like a little bit. Kind of like it. wave dashing. <laughs> yeah, I, I wish wave dashing was in the game. That'd be... I mean, everyone wishes wave cool. dashing was in the game. Like real wave dashing, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like some real movement options. That would just take the game to the next level, but alas, we're gonna we settle with what we have, which is platform wave dashing, which is not the same, but you know what? Yeah, it's it's good enough, right? We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take. I it. mean, honestly, it's better than not having any kind of wave dashing. And on top of that, I just I almost miss perfect pivot more than wave dashing. If we're like talking I about mean, the modern oh Smash games, God, yeah. no, oh. I don't miss perfect <laughs> pivoting as much as I miss dashing through your opponent. Yeah, that no. So that above all else is more important as a game mechanic standard. But like tech skill wise, I love. I miss perfect pivot. It was so much fun. It was so much. Fun. It was very technical too. Like the, yeah. the speed you had to learn to flick your controller back and forth, and of course you had to do your you had to do your attack action, either jab, special, whatever. Like you had to do doing it, do the perfect pivot, easy. Doing it in conjunction with you know maybe a jab, grab, whatever. That's hard. Mm. That's where you that. 
that really separates your skill level from a lot of other people. How well could you do that and execute? Yeah. On top of that, doing it on reaction or doing it as a part of your offense, like doing that realistically in game, that's tough. That's tough stuff. You wouldn't say Smash is an easy game, but there's a lot of complex tech in, like tech in here. And uh, on top of it all off, there's so many characters you have to adapt to that each little bit of tech has to be applied ever so slightly differently for each character. And it's just like the homework in this game just explodes my oh, brain. Don't don't <laughs> remind don't remind me of the homework. There's I, I'm actually very I'm very thankful that actually yeah I, I think you can test this. Where I think we're very fortunate that we play this game. It makes the homework quote unquote aspect a lot easier because you know we're mm. just playing this game on a natural bit on an everyday basis. Well, not as much for me now. Uh, I don't know about you. I don't play this game as much as I used to. I still definitely spectate it just as much as I used to. But I think being I think my time playing it on an everyday basis allowed me to learn just all the aspects of a character so you know it makes my commentary that much more insightful you know having an understanding of the character of the roster just means that you're able to display that knowledge when you're on the commentary and of course we're going to be spouting that we're going to be spitting all that knowledge for you guys as we head to game number three running it back joker versus ridley the stage i actually didn't see it baby this will be something special i mean everyone kind of loves the stage i definitely Love, love the stage. It is so much fun. The edge guarding attempts, the problems you can get here, the recovery. I mean, you can get creative with everything. All right, gonna get the down throw. Full hops it. Yeah, they haven't been able to get. That's the one thing um, Gummy hasn't been able to do. They haven't been able to short hop off of that down throw, which means that they're just completely whiffing the, the combo. All good though. That side be coming in clutch. Side is gonna do a little bit of damage, 66%. Down smash, Arsene is out to play. AC got some work to do now. All Arsene's here, make it happen. Oh! <laughs> got some violence, I'm sorry, never mind. Got some violence right there. Some, actually, some really a really nice punish though from Gummy. There we go, getting that short hop in, finally getting those follow-ups. That's gonna be huge momentum coming in from Gummy, but yeah. Punish the, uh, the the up tilt that went the wrong way. Up smash. Ooh, little bit of a little bit of a. Yeah, this is why I can't stand that up, you man. The angles you can't choose the angles. You gotta. You can't choose the angle. The you just you gotta make sure if you're going down, you don't hold down so you don't miss the ledge. Yeah, that's true too. I couldn't tell if he went right through the platform by holding down or if he just missed it entirely. He's so big, right? Yeah. Or maybe the or maybe the up B just goes through platform like uh like Yoshi's down B. Oh yeah, it could just by default go through and that would suck too, honestly. Over the side B though. We we'll get some more damage on the board. 91 percent on KC trying to stay alive. Keep this two stock. Hopefully make it a two to one lead. But right now the pressure from Gummy is just so much that up air reaching to the heavens and closing out that stock, putting Gummy back in the lead. Yep, just keeping them in the disadvantage. Like I said, this is oh, oh you dunk him! Aw! Oh. <laughs> Honestly, just just because of what we've seen before, I don't think you should. I don't think the BM is worth it, man. Nah. Just nah, get nah, back nah. to the stage. <laughs> Keep definitely, your lead. Definitely not worth it every time. But when, I mean, just seeing Ridley drag someone to the bottom of a stage. Oh, I definitely think. I think there's. I definitely. Th oh, oh wow, yeah. very interesting. Drag down, but into a four till not a down smash or anything. Especially with Arsene out, that's going to allow Gummy to survive a little bit longer. I was going to say, I definitely think there's times to do those kind of moves, you know? Oh, 100%. Uh, mental damage is so worth it. Mental damage is so worth it. Like, oh. you got to do what you can to win. And oh my god, going up there with the platform extension, max rage at 176% pretty much. And yeah, that's going to be our first set. That's going to mean Gummy takes it 3-0 overall. And that's is the that WSST. Sorry? I think it might be 2-0, because that, like, that first game that we reset, right? That 3-0? Dang! Yeah. Oh my god! That was 3-0. That was the third <laughs> game. That was the third game. Oh, I, I feel like I, could, I lost count. I genuinely lost count, because that first I game. think you lost count, <laughs> just because of how fast yeah. these games were going. Like, this, everything's just been a blur so far. <laughs> Ridley and Joker just scrapping with each other. Yeah, they're violent characters, yo. I mean, we they're saw violent some really characters. good... Joker really less sells. So. Joker less so. I mean, then yeah. again, we're talking about the character where, for his neutral special... He wields a gun. <laughs> like, I love how everyone memed that. But like, it was oh. the perfect announcement. How else it was, you announce perfect, a it was move? so straight up. <laughs> it wasn't, yeah, he has a toy gun because, like, in yeah. the game, it is not a real gun. Mm. But, like, apparently, in 
the mementos world or the, the 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 weird world where you know persona happens when they're yeah. in the mind or whatever it just becomes a gun so they're like yeah, yeah joker has a gun it's kind of and sick. a dagger or a knife <laughs> so edgy <laughs> he, dude, dude he's going through his phase joker's kind of sick i'm not gonna lie he is a cool character <laughs> i love joker purely what? for the style points on those moves because i will say that if i'm gonna vouch for one move in joker's kit it's that upbeat it's that upbeat the, the chain grapple scooping somebody oh. to you and then dunking them below you as a physical you get school, some follow-ups sick. off that too you can get some drag <laughs> down combos you can get kill confirms off the grapple i got sick that's kind of sick, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like I said, and, that's why I'm saying Joker has a lot of technical aspects to him. He's, mm. he's, he's definitely a character that is easy to pick up, but he's hard to master. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can only imagine how deep that character goes in terms why of... Why do you think MKLeo trees? was one of the only people, if not the only person, to see constant success with Joker? Because he's that yeah. technical at a high level. You might think, exactly. you know, he has a lot of basic stuff, and he does. And that's what makes the character good. But to make the character good from just next level, that's what you're looking for. That those those small technical skills that you really mm. gotta hone. Yeah, it's cool to see just how like far people can push that character and really unlock a new character through tech skill. I mean, you can see so much development happen around people discovering the ins and outs of a character, the combo trees, the mix up potential, the edge guarding potential, recovery tech, like everything. It just keeps going and going. I don't think I've ever seen a Smash game that has stopped showing new tech ever. No. There's always been yeah. something new in every game. There's always something new. Uh, for Melee, let's see. Melee had, obviously, wave dashing. Mm-hmm. Duh. Um, brawl. I mean, I mean, like, modern tech as well. Like, tech people find oh. out, like, the same year of, like, this year. Like, there's new Melee tech this year. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I actually did not know there was new Melee tech this year. That's mm. insane. People are all, that's what, that's the beauty of Smash. People are always looking for, you know, new things to do, yes. uh, new tech, new skills, anything to give yourself the slight edge in the competition. Anyways, enough about, enough about the, uh, you know, speculation and everything. We got King K. Rule, another heavy, Ace of Spades versus Prince. Kind of a banger in the background right now. Four, four tilt, of course. Creating the space. Damage on that's crazy. Very oh, yeah. into I think that's up till. Up till yeah. Oh, that's F till. That's F till. Up till. I believe? No, no, up because wait. Wait a minute. I think that's his F till. F till's the clap, right? Oh yeah, you're right. That is up till. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was right the first time. I doubted myself, but look what happened. <laughs> you I got doubted it, myself, but look what happened. I have confidence. <laughs> I don't I do have as see... much confidence as these players, man. Yeah, I want to see the confidence coming from the grabs. I mean, it's a spade, of course, able to get some huge confirms off of that. And that's row, the but... tell right there. The, the... Or tilt enough. Clap! <laughs> <laughs> Round of applause, please. Great. K so rule dabbing on them, man. <laughs> you know, I'm supposed to see a Byleth. I have not seen a lot of Byleth whatsoever. I know they're very solid, but I haven't really seen many people use them because of the pure fact that. Fire Emblem? People are tired of it? Yeah, somebody? people like... are sick of Fire Emblem, but um, <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a counter-argument here. Mm. MK Leo has probably popularized Violet more than <gasps> Ooh, Incredible option, actually. That is, that, I can't even, I can't even, like, that was hype, but that was, uh, like, my instinct was, that was just optimal. Yeah, this character's sick. <laughs> Anyways, going, yeah, back to my counter-argument. My, my yeah. counter-argument is simply... MK Leo, I think, popularized this character a lot. Definitely oh, yeah. underrepresented, like, no representation if not underrepresented beforehand. Do it again! MK Leo picks him up. Best best player in the world, and they're like, you know what? I like Byleth. Yeah. I mean, they seem pretty cool on that release trailer. They have so many different tools, especially really so many range tools that have such high kill power. And it's kind of rare to see a character with this much range have that much kill power, but then again, it's kind of modern Smash characters in a nutshell. I mean, look at Sephiroth, right? I saw Smash there. Yep, absolutely. I mean, there's so many character, there's so many characters that just do so many things. And again, it goes back to our talk earlier about matchup understand, understanding matchups, mm. matchup checks. Yeah, knowledge checks are super important. You can't go a day in Smash, or at least in Smash bracket, without knowing your matchups properly in and out. I mean, that's the homework, right? 
That's the homework, and that's the reason you go to locals. That's the reason why you sometimes play online. You're just here to learn. Look at that F smash. Perfect timing to cover that landing. Poor belly of that K rule, man. I can only imagine that spear hurting. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Yeah. I yeah. Just imagine. He, he's getting, like, do you see how big his belly is? Yeah, he's and then rounded. How, like, lo how long that spear is? Yeah. Good Lord. That's, like some his belly's graphic, armored, that's some graphic stuff that I just imagine. <laughs> You, what are you putting in my head, Suplex? Oh my goodness! This is a children's game. Do you not see that? Do you not see that E for everyone rating we have in the Hold bottom on, left man. corner? I'm not talking about like MK. I'm talking about like, just like him popping like a balloon, like just that spear going. Pew. All right, now that I'm imagining that, that that's that, yeah, and that's then just like funny. floats with a... <laughs> very yeah. cartoony very cartoony reminds me of the 2000s man look at me rem exactly. look at reminiscing look at us reminiscing <laughs> of the good old days we're old man we're old dude don't give me gray hairs to saying that man come on please <laughs> <laughs> no good first match of that set very solid stuff love to see a new pick we haven't seen Milet yet but we're happy to see some new tech skill come out some new character showcases k rule of course a character we've seen quite a lot but this style so far seems kind of focused on using those tilts to really confirm those kills Getting those down throws into up tilt, easy damage, easy kill confirms, keep it simple. Yeah, but uh, of course, Byleth, Byleth, um, particularly Prince, we sh they sh uh, they showcase Byleth exceptionally well. That mm. second stock in particular, using the or that first or it was the first stock, I don't remember first or second stock, but either way, I remember what happened. It was because they used the up B while K rule was off stage. Was the first, K rule's yeah. biggest weakness, very linear recovery, does has a hitbox on the rising, but he doesn't have mm. any way to act out of it. So. Because of how linear and vertical it is, if K rule you know rises, you can just drop down, use that up B, and there's nothing K rule can do. He can't air dodge out of it. He can't do anything. He's just and you get dragged down, <laughs> footstooled. That's so. so that's sick. such a disrespectful up B too. You're <laughs> getting footstool spiked. Yeah. No, I love that, yo. Like it's not only it doesn't only look sick because you see someone just freeze up there and go, uh oh, would have that have that regret moment. But on top of that, just <laughs> I just had a like funny that. I just had a funny thought. Now if only foot if only K Rule had the ugh sound effect whenever he gets footstool, just like <laughs> yeah. in the Donkey just like in the Donkey Kong games, man. <laughs> that would be sick. Just... <laughs> Could have been Every a sick time Easter egg. When he gets footstool, he's, he has that little ugh sound yeah. effect. You know the one I'm talking about. I would love that to be like every noise he makes. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> every time he does a cannonball, every time he's hit by a multi hit, just, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I love that, yo. I feel, it reminds me of totally off topic. It reminds me of there was an April Fool's joke for uh fighting game Skullgirls. I'm, I'm sure you're probably familiar. Oh, 100%. Um, Everyone, yeah. I, I know Skullgirls, definitely yeah. familiar with that game. And so, for the April Fool's joke, they re released a new character, Annie, and she had okay. one move where she would do a jump and heavy attack. and She's, like, from, like, the whole movie industry. So she says, rolling. Like, she's, like, rolling a tape. <laughs> and so for every single one of her voice lines, they made it rolling. <laughs> it was just the most annoying it's thing It's just ever. one clip for every move. That's so funny. Yeah. That's such a perfect April Fool's joke. Rolling. <laughs> yeah, just rolling, 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 rolling. <laughs> We're rolling it, into yo. this next game. That's what we're rolling, rolling into. <laughs> here we go, yo. <laughs> just killing time. We're just killing time here. We're killing time out here. We're, we're, we're having a good time. We're having a good time, man. Hell yeah, let's jump into it, yo. Let's just start here. We're Prince. Combo game, clearly solid. Yeah, uh, the scores are uh, reversed, of course. Prince was the one to win that first game. Yeah, we're good then. Scores are reversed. Oh wait, yeah, I'm looking at it the other way around. It's the <laughs> red number. Production. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I could I, I schmixed myself. Okay, yeah. I guess this is a good time to bring it up. The red number is what you should be paying attention to for the best of five. That white yes, number indeed. on the inner part is the is the part where they already won the previous set, which of course uh <laughs> which of course gummy won. So yeah, scores are correct. WSST. I'm tripping myself up. I'm confusing <laughs> everyone at home. We're chilling, we're chilling. We're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. <laughs> A little roll in there. Catch the counter. Rolling! Just a little grab bait. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I can't do that. You can't keep that joke going. It's going to get so annoying, dude. <laughs> All right. Back here, of course. A little weak hit. Not going to be enough to finish off that stock. Arrows, of course. You have that zoning game, but a nice little dash height. Right to space. Closing down the distance. Getting the stroke. Get some damage on the board. 
now Ooh, we're getting, getting the close kill percent. Yeah, getting that up, uh, that up tilt. Not the sweet spot. Couldn't get a follow up. Ellie armor coming out. Tries to get the true frame with the down tilt, but the back air is gonna take that stock. Yeah, good stuff. Little air dodge back on stage. On that platform. Optimal movement. Ooh, nice. I love that. that. 36 that's that up, that's that up B, that's that up B, that's that Byleth up B buff coming into the back yeah. right there. That is delicious. Neutral air there as well. And this easy confirms. Into the up B one more time. That is so man, just I'm trying to see every oh combo. Oh my that B god, now. there's no way they went for that. That's a shield breaker move. Yeah, that looks like a pretty uh Fire Emblem style Falcon Punch, so. It, it's it's just the warlock punch. Let's be real. It's a war, yeah. it's a warlock punch with fire emblem. Does it have armor? Or it does have armor, but only Ooh. if you use it on the ground, just oh, like okay, a warlock punch. Yeah, yeah. Dang, getting thirty three percent off an up you can confirm is pretty nuts. I mean, Violet gets great little one twos here for that. Just a little bit of like twenty to thirty percent. Just that, having that be consistent is so solid because that means you can pretty much three to four touch your opponent and be done for the day. Ooh, dash attack. I like that ledge snap. Just to see if they can get an edge guard, but just. Ooh. That was so close. Oh my yeah. god. <gasps> wow, really risked it all on that. Going for the forward tilt. Breaks he the hit him out of the super armor on the second hit because he already hit him once. That's crazy. Yeah. It traded too, so like. Any later or earlier, that wouldn't have been it. He would have had his shield broken. That's what would have happened. Or he would have just mm. lost his stock. Yeah, he would have smoked for sure. That was a whole game on the line right there. Of course, Prince going for it again anyway. Look at those. Mo Look at that movement. I forgot that Uppy can snap the lead or can grapple to the side of the stage and then you do like a little wall jump. Yeah, that's pretty interesting actually. I didn't realize you could it have It has so many stage. cool properties. Like, it is. I talked. I, I oh! Wow. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> Flies away. <laughs> Cartoon violence. Yeah. It is E10 see? plus see? for everyone. It's it's literally right there in the corner. You can see it. Comic Cartoon mischief. Com yes. Comic mischief coming out here. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of mischief in my matches. <laughs> yeah. Now, Kiro's getting popped right now, but... I do not count him out whatsoever. He's got some really good damage on the board. Really solid confirms. Really good neutral exchanges as well. I'm like, to see how he's challenging absolutely. Violet. It's good stuff. Showcasing some really good movement tech as well. Right at the end there, using that up to grapple, get a little wall jump, uh, air dodge back to the stage, get a little wave landing. Like, Violet has some tech. He got buffed, obviously, mm. in, I think, one or two patches ago. It was quite, it was quite a while, obviously, because this game has been out for so long. But... That was one of the biggest patches and a big reason why MKLeo even picked up the character again in the first place. But we saw utilization of that up B, getting the combo roots of, and of course, that down B, that yeah. Amir of the big axe. Almost worked out. Probably a few frames away from actually ending it with that move. But of course, we have to wait for our game three. See if things can get tied up one apiece, set record-wise. Yeah, I mean, the pure fact that Ace of Spades not only hit that cannonball, but then ran in with a forward tilt to challenge that down B. Like, the courage on that player is absolutely fantastic. He's truly got the stuff. That's absolutely. incredible. Like, there's no, there's no reason you should at all risk the game dashing into an armored move like that that will instantly erase your stock. But, hey, that has got to do it. Hey, that's, guts, <laughs> that's gutsy, man. Yeah. It was gutsy, and it paid off. They they exactly. did get they did get a little bit of stage control. Game. Unfortunately, just couldn't close out those last couple stocks. But hey, anything can happen, right? Ooh. 100%. Of course, joking one more time. But now we're going for the classic default skin. Another well, switching from Violet to Joker. Look at, look at the drip Joker has, man. Look at the drip. I see no chains, but the gloves are pretty nice. Yeah. Look at the flick of the wrist. <laughs> the wrist. <laughs> little crown oh my god there. i feel like i feel so old saying that that used to be a big <laughs> thing that used to be a big thing when we were like teenagers or Bro, stop, it? stop dating us man Just say it <laughs> <laughs> you, you see your white hairs coming out because you had flex stop dating us make you just say the reference don't say we're all old we are <laughs> <laughs> we're good though we're good i mean hey this down throw not enough Ooh, to confirm that mash is out of the berry Really good mash. Here goes Arsene. 
for dash attack. A little bit too overcommittal. Space yep. getting knocked off stage here. Down throws right into the guns. Oh, oh, oh no chance. Stalling. Of that. Stalling a little bit. Just doesn't want to overcommit to anything. Aha. Ooh, inches away. Dash attack not going to take it just yet. Ooh. Oh, I know exactly what they wanted to do. Prince wanted to fall into the cannonball and Rebels Guard, but the Rebels Guard didn't come out fast enough. So they actually just ended up falling into their doom. Yeah. Now the cannonball is threatening, yo. It's funny how you feel a, you feel a move coming and it feels easier to parry than a projectile coming in. Oh, project Parrying is a very weird mechanic. Like, sometimes you can get a punish, but some moves are safe regardless of a parry. Mm hmm These counter attempts from Prince. Oh, no, from uh, Ace of Spades. Not yeah, paying off they... too much. Hasn't actually really been able to hit it just yet. Oh, tether recovery. Like I said, that tether recovery goes deep. No Arsene back air. But see, look at that movement. You can cancel Ooh, out of that. Gun. No tech either. That might do it, actually. Great control here from Prince. Amazing. Just lining up his space perfectly for that edge guard attempt. Yeah, Pays notice that they notice that they went a little too far horizontally. Like I said, K. Rule does not have that good of a recovery if he doesn't have a jump. And of course, his up B only goes vertically. He really doesn't have that much horizontal drift. Recognizing that Prince just waited. Knew he couldn't snap ledge from that angle. Oh my god! Uh oh. He got the spike. That is so unfortunate. Joker has a weird overlapping hitbox where sometimes the spike hitbox comes out before the actual, um, you know, original hitbox that Joker does with his down air, which only sends away. It doesn't have a spike. Actually, that's really interesting. I'm surprised that. Yeah, you, you heard the spike like actually come out. But because of the way the hitboxes overlap, sometimes the spike hitbox hits first and then it gets canceled by Joker's hitbox, which doesn't spike and sends away or in front of him. Whichever which way he's facing is actually the uh, the way it gets sent. Must be a weird hit stop interaction. That's cool. Oh yeah. no, but a bit too low. Prince was in a stock early. Of course, he's basically taking this lead for free. Oh, I'm feeling pretty confident. But of course, I get to overconfident now. 145%. Gotta get some depth to the board first to make it worth it. Again, show, those gun, those guns proving to be huge just disrupts whatever you want to do, movement or move or like actually trying to throw it oh. in like an actual attack. The cannonball there, threaten that recovery, make it a bit more suffocating for Prince here. This space trying to close out the stock, close out this game, holding up that percentage. Our sound sticking throw. around for a minute. It should be a stock. Oh no, I thought he would go down Tetrakarn maybe. Tetrakarn is big. Stalling out the Arsene. Dash attack, there we go. But look how much time Ace of Spades is able to stall on that Arsene. He should be disappearing right here. Yep. Couldn't even get it going on that last stock. So he's going to have to find a way to build up Arsene meter again. That Rebel's Guard, I'd expect it sooner or later. A little up air drag. We're starting to see this tech come out. Down throw. Drag down there we up air. Go. <laughs> That's the tech it. we're talking about. Those drag downs are huge for Joker. He gets so much going off, though. There we go. That's the Rebel's Guard I was talking about, and Arsene is going to come out to play again, maybe? <laughs> there he is. One last Arsene chance. I think this this is going to be the make or break <gasps> for Ace of Spades. Oh, no. Oh, Could my go God. There, but no dice this he... time. Oh, no punishes on the, the fair one. They shot. tried to get the fair one. Yeah, Ace of Spades needs these. Oh! It was techable too. It was techable, but a miss tech is a miss stock in that scenario. And that's going to result in a 3 0 for Prince. Bring each set, or the bring the series one apiece. Yep. Yeah. 1 1. Beautiful stuff. Good timing. <laughs> it's cool to see. Like, those little fingers. Yeah, these little fingers are your little baby kids. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. If it's um, it's cool to see a matchup like this go to a game three because you want to see the entirety of the team, right? I mean, when it goes to a 2 0, the setup like this, you don't get to see the entirety of the team. What's the point of a 3v3 if you don't see all three players fight? So happy to see it. Excited to see what characters we get to see next. And of course, these players have been showing off some really good talent so far. Uh, okay, let me look at my notes real quick. And it looks like we have Zoran versus Sook. As our third and final two players to play in this head-to-head. -head. Of course, it's a winner-take-all now. We speculated a lot. Do you think, as the anchor, they are the best players on the team? I want to say there's a different value of an anchor for, for different people in different teams. I mean, mm -hmm. I think of an anchor as the character or the player that you can trust the most 
to most consistently bring home a result that you wouldn't normally expect. So yeah, yeah that's a good way of putting it, and I yeah. definitely agree with that sentiment. Yeah, I wouldn't say that he'd be the strongest player, but the player that needs to. At it's least all about bring consistency apart. at the end of the day. Yeah, remember the consistency, and also bring make sure that you're not only bring together, bring forth a player that's able to shake up that normal standard, but is also able to adapt on the fly and make sure they can actually shut down whatever's going on currently. Because if you're an anchor, I'm sure you can shut down the momentum. Because if you're on the side of, um, well, as, as I, I think here, the big thing is, as the anchor, you are the last person. You're the last man standing. There's nothing between mm. you and the opponent taking victory from you. You are the last gatekeeper, and that goes obviously for both anchors. So. It's a lot of pressure to be put in the situation as well. And not everyone can handle the pressure of being the anchor. That's a lot mm. to expect out of you. At least, in, you know, you're in the one or two position. You're like, okay, I got a, I got a little bit to go. You know, I just got to get a feel for how their team is matching up with us, what kind of characters they might want to play. And then, you mm. know, if I lose a set or a game or here or there, it's not a big deal. But as the anchor, you have absolutely no safety cushion. You are in it to win it or you're going home. It's Dub City or Wub Wub City. Sucks, yo. No one's going to Wubble Wub City. As an anchor, of course, you have a lot of responsibility. But also, you have a lot of wisdom, a lot of courage. you got to be able to step in that ring and just be ready for whatever happens. Because while you're the last player, it's still the same format. It's still 3 out of 5. Whatever happens, that's what's going to happen. And you can't let that pressure get to you too much. Because the moment you let yourself, the moment you let yourself crack, I mean... Are you really an anchor anymore? Are you really going to be able to hold it down for the team? That's what I'm saying, man. Pressure is a big factor in competition. If you let things get to your mind, if you let yourself, you know, pull yourself down, mm. you already lost. Oh, yeah. It's all about that confidence, that momentum. Get that as early as you can, because when you feel good, you're going to play good. Mm. Yeah, no. <laughs> you look good, you feel good, you play good. As simple as that. <laughs> No, that's good times around here. And of course, we are just getting the player set up one more time. We're seeing some technical setup in there in the production server, but that's just my bird's eye view of the situation. Of course, I'll we'll talk a little absolutely. bit about the characters we've seen so far because we've seen the start off. We saw Joker versus Ridley, a very really? head-to-head, like, like pretty much damage output comp, like head up, uh, where you see a matchup that can be very volatile for Ridley, but instead turned out very clean for Ridley. Be able to shut down Joker. But in game two, or in our set two, we saw, of course, Byleth, K. Rule, and now Joker and K. Rule, mm. and we're seeing a bit of a trend in these in these matchups. As we're seeing, yeah, the Joker came out from the same character. team as well. Hmm. KC and Prince both showcase the Joker, so I gotta wonder: Does Sook have a Joker? And if they do, are we gonna see it? I'd be kind of hype actually to see a counterplay Joker, a Joker Mirror. For the Joker mirror, oh, the Joker mirror is incredible. <laughs> like it, it's actually so. The Joker mirror is so crazy. It's it's mm. a game of chicken, but it's also a game of how well you can use your R set because oh, 100%. you know neither player want. It, it's basically each player wants to get the the other player to a specific percent threshold where they don't give them R set, and then when they get R set, they just go in for the kill. Oh, that's yeah. that game of chicken, so so to speak. But of course, sometimes each player gets R set. And then it's just a scrap because obviously, yeah. once again, the more you get hit, the faster your Arsene meter drains. So if you both have Arsene, whoever gets the advantage state more is more likely to win that that uh that head to head interaction. Obviously, mm -hmm. I can only imagine like as a Joker fighting an Arsene enabled Joker. That seems like a pretty bad matchup. It's scary. I mean, it's You're not, just playing a better characters. version of yourself. Yeah, In yeah every they have more way. Range and more damage. It's kind of ridiculous. More kill power. A better mm. counter that is also a reflector. Better combo routes. Better, better combo routes. The only weakness you have when you get Arsene is the fact that you have a weaker recovery. I guess it is technically weaker, yeah. Does it have some invincibility or is it just flat it out? It has invincibility at the beginning. But the beginning, it is yeah. notoriously and famously known for being one of the easiest up Bs to two frame. Ah, uh, because our sand and the flight animation makes you so wide and tall. Yep, exactly. Wings, you are yeah. so liable to get two framed. Like at, playing Joker against uh, the first character in my mind is Palutena. Palutena oh, just yeah. down tilts at the ledge, and because it's a lingering hitbox against your bigger, uh, slightly bigger hitbox, of course, and the le uh, less consistent grab animation equates to Palutena is probably going to two frame you. 
every single time she down tilts. Yeah, it's pretty terrifying. I mean, here's like Palutena, here's like Lucas, who have that multi-hitting triple down it, down smash. Yep, I mean, that's another one. Anything stuff. that link, any hitbox that kind of just lingers or extends past the ledge, Joker's gonna get hit by it if he has our set. Yeah, and he has to up B. I, I, I don't believe there's no way to cancel our send for Joker, right? It's just no, it's there is. Like, you can't, you yeah, can't yeah, yeah. get rid of our send uh, with a button or something like that. But mm. again, of course, that's just one negative aspect of starting. If he was perfect. He'd be like he would easily be undisputed <laughs> number one, right? With a little bit of yeah. a weakness, I think it makes the character a lot more balanced, and of course, it gives a lot more fair in counterplay to fighting against the character, right? Mm. Fighting against the character. Speaking of which, fighting at the stage or fighting on the stage, battlefield for our next battlefield. set. Apparently, this could be good. This could be good. I like seeing some battlefield. I like seeing some high damage with Batcon. Because you're a Mario maid. Of course, you like seeing battlefield. Yeah! <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Send him with the up tilts. <laughs> up tilts into You're up airs. Up airs into more up airs. Up That's airs Smash 4. Airs. He can't do that in Smash Ultimate. <laughs> yes, he can. He did the up air strings. do it. He did the up air strings. Not the oh, up yeah. tilts. Yeah, the up tilts are gone. And honestly, the up tilts are gone. He can't were, just. They were a little boring. I'll give you that. <laughs> but they were so It consistent. was just this over and over again. Yeah. Until you're it's at 40. I mean, no, it's not. Fighting... It's so boring. <laughs> You get one, you're fighting. Boom. Up tilt. Up tilt. Up yeah. tilt. Up tilt. Yeah, but in Smash 4, when you're fighting characters like Bayonetta, right? Who have combos that just instantly murder you, having a combo that simple and that effective just feels good. However, I am shocked to see Lucina versus Sora in this final head to head. That's a sorty matchup. But one's very floaty, and one has one of the best cool toolkits in the game for a sword character, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, they're both sword characters either way, so. Mm. But I think I feel... a lot of people consider one better than the other. However, the yeah. results probably beg to differ right here. Lucina, usually seen as a better character, but right now, uh, Zoran, who I believe is the Sora, mm. has a slight advantage right now. I also noticed that their tags are of the previous players, and they don't seem to mind. I guess their control schemes are all the same. I'm sure they'd solve if they had a problem, but I mean... Speaking of problems, that down smash coming in real huge. Let's have a Zoran right now. Getting that first duck off the board. Getting them in the lead. Great place to be in if you're Sora. You're kind of floaty, so it's kind of tough to stay alive sometimes. I think that's why this this uh, stage pick is particularly good for Sora. He has a lot of uh, mix-up options. Of course, those platforms makes it a little bit easier to land. You have a few mix-ups on landing as well. And Lucina, very linear recovery wise, but of course the uh, the uppy there you can do the dolphin slash Marth has. Mm -hmm. Good out of shield option snaps the ledge really quickly, super fast. One more attempt at the down smash, not quite this time. Attempt the forward air there, but gonna be unsafe on shield. Sook is hoping for a chance. I'm not able to get anything. Is that up? He kills that early. I mean, yes, I it say does. Eyes fold, but well, with the little crazy. little platform extension too, Suplex. You got to remember, it was hit oh, on yeah. the platform, and anytime you can hit someone off the platform, they're already a little higher to Ooh. the ground. It makes it easier to kill off the top, but it doesn't matter if you kill off the top, you kill off the side. Sook taking that first stock off of Sora with the F smash. Really able to answer back here. It's gonna damage the board. It's still possible to win this for sure. Lucina, of course, is really good at edge guarding. This sort of getting some really resistant damage on the board as well. Top it all off. Kill a powerful Lucina is really, really solid. More consistent than Marth. Uh, Marth might be a little bit... Well, for this game, the game might be a little too fast-paced for a character like Marth. But of course, Lucina has the big advantage of consistent hitbox. No tipper, but consistently strong all throughout the sword. Doesn't peak as high as Marth, but doesn't get as low as Marth either. Kind of mm. a sweet spot in the middle. And it's beautifully simple like that, right? I mean... I, I am a huge believer in consistency and comfort in simple characters. When it comes to Lucina, she's almost off the screen. Because, you know what? Having a simplified version of Marth just makes it that much easier to get into your prime zone. And thankfully, even if the stock, I'm barely staying alive in this game one here. Ooh, tries to get that uppie out of shield. And again, there we go. Another example why Battlefield is such a good stage for Sora. Just uppies and immediately safely lands on that uh, platform. The Sonic Blade dash right here, just to cancel things up. Again, just trying to get the up B out of shields to get the kill, but that shield looking mighty small. Lucina has a shield breaker. That's her neutral B. You gotta watch mm. out for that. 
you can see Slick really having a hard time keeping up a sword's movement in this matchup. I mean, on Battlefield especially, with the platforms being kind of in the way, it can be tough. Smash. A B. Oh, that shield looking small from Sook now. 146 on the side of Sook. Oh! Oh. Oh. That is unfortunate. Oh. That hurts the you soul, hate yo. to see it, man. <laughs> Single tear pulled down their cheek. That's just game one, though. Nothing to worry about. It's a three out of five. Plenty of games left on deck. And of course, they made it a close one, even though they sacrificed that last talk to the heavens for the SD. But we're going to come right, bring it right back into game two. And I can fully, fully believe that Silk's going to be able to bring this back and uh, clean up a game two and make it a game. 100%, 100%. And even we game did see situation. Some, we did see some good stuff. Again, Lucina, very common top tier character that a lot of people consider really good. Probably the best out of all the Fire Emblem characters to a lot of people. Um, but obviously against Sora, another sword character, you got a few things additionally to worry about. Sora does have a projectile, Fyraga, Blizzaga, Thundaga, Ooh. so they can afford to keep a little bit more space compared to you. Lucina does have to go in box against Sora a little bit more, but again, I think that plays to their advantage a little more. I think Marth would have a lot more trouble with Sora just because they have to, they'd have to stay in that sweet spot range to get the tippers. Of course, the tippers is super rewarding, but going to be a lot easier said than done, so Lucina should have a relatively even matchup with Sora here, and I think that's what we saw in the game number one. Yeah, really good stuff, and we saw just how even it was, but we also saw how expertly Zoran was trying to really make Sook work for it. I mean, you saw how Zoran was trying to maneuver with that up B. Of course, it looked a little spammy, not going to lie, but it worked. It worked. Just utilizing that up B, get in the air, using the side B, zip around, and... So it couldn't find a punish. I mean, they tried their best, but they couldn't really keep up. And when you try the kind of advantage, best, but you don't <laughs> sex. yeah, we have the kind of advantage. Flex it, flex that advantage. If they can't deal, make with sure. It, yeah, keep doing it. I think I think that's a good point you make, though. You got to push your advantage. You, this is competition. You know, we always encourage healthy competition. You know, don't be toxic, don't be mean. But I mm. think there's no such thing as not taking advantage of what's given to you, whether it's an SD or a really good string, you take that and you run with it. Oh, yeah. I mean, let's, let's break it down a little bit here as well. I want to really put in perspective just how simple competition can be at the basic level. I mean, we're at a very, very high level here at this high school championship. Yeah, absolutely. It's looking amazing. But, I mean, think about it. Two players pick up the controller for the first time. They don't know how to shield. <laughs> they don't know how to recover. They don't know how to yep. jump. You know, nothing but push the A button and go beat them up. And... When you get to that first level of, let's say the first player figures out how to, how to push their other opponent really, really off the stage, really easily and really quickly. That opponent's now thinking, well, I don't want to deal with this. This sucks. But you have to learn. You got to learn how to recover. How Gotta to adapt. adapt. Gotta Adaptation. Adapt. And so in this situation where Sook can't deal with that up into side B combination, got to learn. Got to learn how to deal with it on the fly right now because now or never, otherwise we learn with that or... the entire set. As we were saying, take advantage. You have the counter pick. Pick a stage where they can't abuse that. Maybe a flat stage like mm. Final Destination, Town and City. Get rid of those platforms, right? That top platform, you know, is the safe platform now. You saw them constantly up B, couldn't find a punish. Of course, Martin and Lucina have the same thing. They can also just dolphin slash upwards, land on the top platform, no punish totally. whatsoever. But like I said, it's all about taking what's given to you. You got to know what your character does. You got to know what your character, your opponent does. And. Yeah, make make a game plan. That's really it. Yeah, no. Create that strategy and stick to it as well. I mean, in a competition like this, it's been a long amount of games so far, and keeping that mental focus up is super, super important. So being able to hold that strategy in your head and follow it to a T, keeping that concentration, that's super important here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. So it looks like from the news we got, they are sticking with the same fighter. So it is still going to be Lucina versus Sora. But mm. the stage is going to be different. Probably. Ooh. Unless they decide to write it back on Battlefield. I would love to see PS2. We haven't seen too much of it today. We haven't seen a lot of 2 PS2 in general. Yeah. PS2. Oh, what, what's that? FD for game FD? 2? You mean the hey. thing I suggested? Maybe a good idea. <laughs> Maybe a good idea. Now, now Sora can't cancel... Into the Sonic Blade dashes easily because he has nowhere to go on a platform. He can't. You can't mix yeah. it up as well. And of course, 
Lucina has that upbeat out of shield frame one invulnerability, and the Dolphin Slash will just send away. So definitely a punish option off the Sonic Blade Dash, getting rid of that platform, which means that you can't use the Dolphin Slash upward as easily. But I do like to pick up FD for Lucina anyways. Lucina doesn't really struggle on too many stages just because, like she, like we said, she's a really fundamentally sound character. Not anything too crazy, but nothing anything uh, bad either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, not a lot of weaknesses. Pretty solid recovery. It can be pretty exploitable, though, as you do, as you will start to predict. It's actually where Lucina and Marth, style characters with the Dolphin Slash, want to be when they're recovering. But above all else, I mean, their offense, their defense, their neutral, it's just all so incredibly balanced that when it comes down to it, there's not a lot of openings you can really exploit in a character like Lucina. A character like Sora, right, however, go. that side B is pretty like. Eh. You gotta Not make do, laggy. man. You gotta, you gotta but, find yeah. the punish, right? <laughs> gotta find it. And Daga, of course, keeping them off stage. There's the Dolphin Slash. Ooh, put it all on the line for the character. These players are loving counters today. They are just so thirsty for counters. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> every character, it. every character today has had a counter except Byleth. Yeah, geez, that's a good point, actually. Every character has had a counter. Oh, Red, Red rule, as well. Sora, Lucina, Joker. Back to yeah. press two counters. Yeah, <laughs> wait, that's a good point as well. <laughs> he technically has two counters. He has rep. No, he has three. He has a reflector. Three. Oh, if, you know, if reflector is being a different thing, then yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I mean, okay, you know what? I, I guess you make a point. If we're having a reflector <laughs> or something, say that yes, then then technically it is officially two, re two counters, yeah, one yeah, reflector. Yeah. Well, scrappy here in neutral so far though. Of course, they're trying to answer back for that first early stock. Zoran is looking clean. Back oh, off. He does have that much knockback. What is that, yo? They're like 90%. They're about to die off an uppy. What is like that? <laughs> little little bit of a DI po uh, a little DI gift right there. They were actually yeah. DIing in. The trick to do it to survive that is to DI away, and we saw obviously okay. so yeah. DI in. So that's probably why you're also seeing that move. Feel extremely early. Gotta punish these Sonic Blade dashes. Nice. There we there go. There it is. See, now it's on the same page. Still known to deal with, of course, but at least you have a punish on deck for it. That up is so brutal, though. Yeah, you definitely gotta DI that out. Out and down. Aha! Throwing it, throwing out as many hitboxes as possible. Home for an easy stock clear. Let's look, is that 84% now? Turn to boil. Last stock. Oh, oh that's it. Oh, no! That should break shields! It does do a decent amount of shield damage, and that's going to be a fully charged F smash off that shield break. And we are in game number three, I believe. Sook? Honestly, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Sook, of course, down one now. And uh, it's looking pretty clean. Zoran up 2-0 right now. Uh, Sook down. Needs to needs to make the reverse 3 0 happen. Now or never. Now or never, like we said. The anchors roll, yo. Stay, stay that calm, pressure, stay man. Composed. You can't handle it. Under pressure. Yeah. <laughs> Under pressure. It's crazy, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, I can imagine it being fairly difficult here for Lucina to try and adapt to a character like Sora, who's so freeform, so freestyle in the amount. And the way they can play neutral, Sora, of course, having such good floaty ability to control that airspace. And Lucina has a better range advantage, I'd say. But that momentum, that movement is not quite on par for what Zoran's really handling here. Um, good stuff, though. Yeah, we're just we're just looking at some stuff right here. Obviously, I know both of us are looking at our notes right now. We got to make oh, I just, sure. I just everything... looked up. Yeah, I didn't. I, didn't yeah, yeah, check. Yeah, I saw yeah. you looking, and I'm like, okay, should I look? I saw. Yeah, you saw me looking at our notes really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> we have our little shared note pack together, but mm. I I think I think the sword pick is is good. I definitely think definitely. it can work. Or well, the sword is working. I think the Lucina I'm like, pick. I'm like, is yeah, other way around. He's up too. I think the Lucina pick can work. <laughs> I think the Lucina pick can work. I think, mm. like I said, the struggle right now is, as we mentioned, Sora has those projectiles, can play a little bit more keep away. Lucina mm. needs to find a way in. Her biggest advantage compared to Marth, no sweet spots, consistency all the way through. That'll already help in the battle. The big question, how do you get in? Yeah. 
not quite sure, but we will answer that question in just a moment here. I mean, we're getting towards this game three, but uh, for now, we're going to push the break. We yep. do see a very solid opportunity to do so. As we're changing switches because of some latency issues, but that's going to be a okay. As of course, we'll finish off the series in just a moment. Don't y'all go anywhere, and we'll be right back. Oh, oh. there we go. And we're back. We... <laughs> <laughs> we were just saying, throw us in. The players are playing. Wait. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna get that match started real quick. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Did have an early start just getting everything just getting everything matches. set up of course uh like we said they just want to swap out the switches maybe if you latency to see mm. issue it happens you know hardware sometimes messes up got to make sure that the player experience is always going to be 100 percent optimal and caters to friendly competition so put that out of the way obviously we're just going to get the uh the match started the players are just getting into the lobby getting everything set up i believe the stage to be picked is small battlefield this time yeah this will be nice small battlefield of course one of those really exploitable stages for those platforms being so low, like low, Kalos. Yep. A little bit lower than Kalos, even. I mean, lower than Kalos, Kalos, actually. Yeah, it's crazy you can, like, get a lot of characters to really abuse that space and really threaten it a lot more you see in a lot of other platform stages. Alrighty. Well, same characters as well from what we've seen. I think it's all about, as we said before the break, Lucina just needs to find a way to get Sora, avoid all those projectiles, and I think the biggest thing is when I said up he had a shield, mm. they've been throwing that out a lot. And it's actually finding a lot of success. But you got to adapt around that, find a way to punish it. Because it is not a safe move, obviously, because it is still an up B. Yeah, I can imagine a couple ideas might be, like, when they up B out of their shield and you're blocking at least, you can probably go for a rising up air, maybe go for an up B, maybe go for a back air, if you can catch them mm. in the direction they're going to go for off that side B. I mean... It's, it's a really tough to catch, but above all else, if they're going to really force that side B situation every single time into that third hit towards the ground, they're going to have a lot of end lag, and you might as well just forward smash it every single time. I mean... <laughs> 100%, 100%. Even, even, it doesn't even have to be a forward smash. It can be a dancing blade, an up B, oh, yeah. if you feel like, dancing you know, your timing... Option. If you feel like your timing is going to be a little bit off, or you didn't react properly, like, S smash, absolutely. If you, if you know for fact the, mm. that is where they're going to end up or that's where they're going to landing or it's like the last thing bam. they're going to do bam let it go but if you want something safe just go for an up B, a dancing blade and i think you're fine mm. as you hit that confirm once you hit that punish make them at least think about not doing it that's success right there game three on it hot zoran up two games and just one away was not this tournament wsst there we go, gets that Dancing Blade, misses the tech, and gets up attack, and actually hits both sides of the getup attack. That's gonna be some damage. I didn't even notice how much damage that was. There's a Dancing Blade, like you mentioned, but maybe unsafe this time. That's a Dancing Blade under the Thundaga. But the counter! Ooh, amazing recovery. Stage. You see Zoran, of course, really familiar with the Lucina matchup, able to counter that, no problem. Whoa, but that's really that safe, huh? All right. <laughs> it is It is that safe. It's a little hop, as in vulnerability as well. Yeah, that lower hitbox and vulnerability on yep. that uh, low crush. Very nice. Right. Even percent looking really good this time around for Sook. They seemed like they made the adaptations, slowed the game down a bit, looking for those, oh, wow. Looking for those opportunities to get in there and box out Sora. Undaga, oh. just a stall. Could be a two frames. No, we're not gonna go for it. Wow. Oh, no. I thought they would charge up a smash attack or something yeah, at the definitely. very least, knowing that it would be a regrab, but selected to stand there, and that's actually gonna allow Zoran to make it back to the stage for free. It could have been a stock there, but it's okay. Shrug it off never for now. Listen lesson for next time. Yeah, again, just waiting, just waiting oh. out the Sonic Blade Dash. Not trying to chase it down, not trying to punish it, and it's gonna cost them because that time they dashed in right into the up B. And the Epi is so threatening as well. I mean, when it's reliably killing like that for Sauron, proper DI or not, it's really scary to deal with. And it's going to start getting your mental, start taking over that mental stack of just avoid Epi, avoid Epi, avoid Epi at all times. Yeah, exactly. But they did make a good retaliation right there. Got the parry on the uh, Nair 1 2 and mm. immediately went into the up smash. So even things out to two stocks each. 
This is still match point. Gotta remember, Zoran only just needs to win this game. Sook needs that reverse 3-0. These counters from Zoran right now as well have been really threatening. Sook, hopefully not getting too hesitant. I'm gonna throw out normals. But, yeah, uh, if anything, hoping you're not too predictable on those counters. If I were Sook, I would definitely be paying attention to that. See if I can bait it out, maybe. Sora is an extremely light character, too. Just like that, see? Did two wow. counters in a row because they whiffed one. They were scared. They did another one. I would watch out for that. Yeah, I mean, hey, if a little bit of fear in Zoran's heart, make use of that. Be threatening. Be dominant. Don't be afraid to be confident and neutral. Get in there. Use those up airs, of course. Don't let them land. Zoran's really good at flying around, but landing not as much Hill? here comes a down air yeah punish it oh <laughs> oh little too little too slow of a punish but i like the attempt i do like the attempt that's what we're looking for you need to yeah. find those punishes fireaga dash attack oh you messed up the messed up the turn around grab very unfortunate that's gonna allow them to reset to neutral down air spiked actually almost took the stop of smash again no yeah really tight here on this game three, see Sook, of course, gonna close up this, for, this second stock, get a lead for themselves, and there it is, punish that get up attack. Now you're in the, you're in the place you need to be, gonna build up the percentage, hopefully get some more, put the down smash. Wait a minute, actually, air dodge off stage. You're Sora though, you're back, right? Oh no, my not. goodness! Wait, that was a T. Ooh, well, I saw that tea bag at the end there. Let him know. Let him know. Let him though. know, man. Let him know, though. <laughs> Let him know. Get in his head, bro. Gotta get in that head. I mean, hey, if you are in Sook's shoes, you're down 2-0, and you watch your opponent throw away the game like that, it's get in their head, shine. man. See if, they, see if they mess up again. That mm. can give you the chance you need for game five. But, of course, one game at a time. Mm. That is one game at a time. That is one to two now. Yeah. As we head into game four. Of course, let me get my nose back up here, but I'm shocked to see that not only is Lucina looking so solid in this matchup, but you're starting to see Sook really catch on to the habits of what, um, of course, Zoran's putting out here. Um, the amount of neutral exchanges they're going on, they're going through, the layers they're building in the offense and defense, you can see Sook going for those punishes a lot more, with a lot more confidence, because Zoran before was just playing around the movement, too overwhelming, unable to be punished. Now we're seeing actual forward smash punishes, actual chase downs, juggles, of course, as well. It's a good path to be on if you're on the side of um, WSSD. And I'm happy to see that there's some progress being made in this matchup because it's a lot of work to do, but two games to go. And that's a W for WSSD. Absolutely. Well, either way, game four is where it's at right now. Ever heard of game four, Leo? You might have to... Ooh. Have to change up the script a little. Now. Let's see game four <laughs> suck. Yeah, this gonna be some good stuff, yo. Nah, I want to see one more game at least. Game five will be nice, but hey, you never know what could happen. Of hey, we got our we we, so we we're getting we're getting what we're at we want right. More games is always more excitement. Mm. More excitement leads to more better story building. Of course, these players get obviously at the end of the day play more games, which oh yeah, that's the main goal, right? <laughs> No, more games is always good. On top of that, I mean, I'm glad to see the players are having so much fun because I can only imagine Zoran maybe wouldn't have gone that deep if they had fully been playing at 100% serious level. But that's not for me to say. Could have totally been an accident. Above all else, I'm glad it looks like they're at least having some good times. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Yep, still just wait. Just waiting for some confirmation. I have no doubt in my mind that the the... Obviously, the teammates are probably talking things over strategy, things mm. to look out for, adaptation. Like I said, team game, coaches, you got everything you need to make uh, to make the right decision and make those choices to adapt. You got a lot of eyes on you and your gameplay. So it's not just you. You're fighting with your team as well every step of the way. Yeah, and having that team behind you definitely is a great support. Of course, the pressure of this game four could be getting to them a little bit. The tension is rising, but... I mean, hey, above all else, keep it cool, keep your strategy in your head, and keep your notes on your opponent right in the front of your brain. If you lose those ideas around how to punish, how to chase them down, their habits, their tendencies, I mean, their weaknesses as well, of course, what they like to react to the most, that's so integral to getting those stocks for free. Be able to predict their movement pattern, their offense pattern, their defense pattern. If you're on the side of Sook, then... 
You gotta make sure those are really right up front and you're ready to access them at any time. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, I think we're still just waiting. Uh, stand by right now. Again, obviously, I think there's a lot going into this game four. We gotta remember, <laughs> it was down 2-0. You did take the first game. So there is a lot mm. of momentum riding with you now. You took a game, that's momentum, that should be confidence coming back to you. And of course, that has to put in the mind of the opponents like, oh no, we took a game. What if they take another one? There has to be some fear settling in right here. You got to make sure that you calm those nerves, regardless of which side you're on right now. Stay focused, eyes on the prize kind of mentality. Yeah. And of course, I do want to shout out as well, we're from production, Zoran, going for a swap. This could be interesting. Hmm, this could be interesting. interesting. Well, I didn't say Joker. Yeah, Joker. I Again, mean, another Joker. Or reliable, am I right? <laughs> oh, reliable. He is <laughs> one of the best characters in the game and for a good reason. Only this time we are seeing it on the reverse team. Uh, of course, Oxygen was the team where they represented with Casey and Prince. This time, Zoran mm. is going to make the swap to Joker. So, see if they find any success with the character. I'm sure this has to be had as well. I mean, we've seen how powerful Joker is. Now, I want to see how. Of course, the side of Oxygen will deal with that Joker, as they've already been presenting it before. But we'll see how it goes. There's not a lot of actual... Um... Actually, you know what? I'll let you ask that question. Is there a lot of actual counterplay to Joker? Or do you really feel like it's kind of just like dealing with the options? The biggest counterplay to so Joker solid? is I see two things. Number one, mm. if he gets Arsene, you have, to, you have to pick and choose your battles. Like uh, mm. the, big, the big thing, as we, I've mentioned throughout this broadcast so far, is... Arsene disappears as you hit him. But you can't just run in against Arsene. You're going to lose if you do that. You're going to give Joker all the opportunity in the world because you're doing exactly what he wants. You're coming straight at him, and he could grab you. He can, like, hit you and punish you with Arsene, and that's going to be so much damage. The alternative, of course, is wait, just waiting it out. Arsene's draining naturally, just draining over time anyways. If you can get a hit, great. If you can't, don't worry about it. Just wait it out. Let Joker get back to his base. He's still an incredible character in his base form, but he's nowhere near as scary as he would be if he had Arsene. Especially as a mm. character like Lucina. You have range over Joker, and a base Joker at that. Arsene will probably outrange Lucina a little bit more as well. So you got to keep that in mind when you're trying to chase down Joker. Arsene will outrange Lucina, but base Joker, not so much. So you can play a little mm. bit more keep away this time. Yeah, it's, it's crazy how Arsene is able to flip that match up on his head so quickly. I mean, of course, the speed as well for Arsene is not only more long range, but even faster. And I can only imagine that Lucina as a character would have to focus on quite literally running for their life as that matchup would not be very favorable. And here we go. So, of course, stand up Lucina. The tried and true. But, of course, Zoran. Oh, I'm back on that Joker. Ready to make this happen. All right, down air. Ooh, Rebels Guard coming out early. Uh, I think the time. I don't think that was let going. Actually, I don't think they let go of the Rebels Guard. I think they actually just uh, ran the out of time on it. Yeah. yeah there's a limit, of course. You can't hold it forever. It's a very interesting strategy uh, Zoran is employing here. They're going for a lot of Rebels Guard to try to maximize our send efficiency. Very risky strategy because your opponent can just pick up on that detail and, you know, just react to the punish when your Rebel's Guard goes away. Simple as that. And look at that. Arsene did absolutely nothing. Really great start here for Sook as well. I mean, this is completely different from what we've seen in these previous matches. It's taking the lead so confidently. One more tether attempt here, of course. Really hard to two frame. There's almost no way you can react to it. Actually, no, there isn't a way you can react to it. Completely unreactable. But at least there's a chance to do it if you guess, or if you haven't moved that last long enough. 160 yeah, now for Zoran, it's just looking more and more brutal. Ooh, get up attack actually barely gonna be in range. Ooh, each going for a read of their own. Each thought they were gonna, the other was gonna actually roll. Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> Wait, so they might be alive. Dead. Yeah, they're, no, they're dead. Gone. The angle that, that the, the angle that that launched that was way too horizontal for Lucina to make it back. Nice answer right back, though. So, stay in the game. Little Phantom hit there. The Noggin of Zoron. Oh, the the is coming out. Yeah, they're just playing very slow neutral right now. 
Okay, let's not get crazy. Let's not get crazy. Oh my god, they're trying they're trying to do it to each other. There's no way. Simply let it rip. Ain't no Beyblade on the stage, but sometimes you gotta let the force patches talk for themselves. Okay, speed. Get in the Aha no not Aha. The uh Aha. I've I've the name entirely. Wait. Help me, Which please move? wait. Aegon? No, what's his name? No, the recovery from Sook. I'm not gonna be able to make it through. What move are you talking about now? Now I can't stop thinking about it. What's I need to know. Name? What's his name? <laughs> Which move? We've been talking about him this whole time. <laughs> Rebel's Guard? That move? No, no, no. Like, like the Phantom itself that comes out. Arsene? Arsene, yes. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Thinking about. Oh Beautiful my god, you forgot though. about Arsene's name? I know, I don't know how I forgot it, it slipped my brain. But those matches are so tight right now, I can't focus on how forgetful I am. <laughs> I know, there's been so much going around. It's last stock, potentially match point right now if uh, if Zoran can secure the win. Ooh, nice air dodge. Even for sense right now, Arsene is guaranteed to come out at least one more time. Just a little bit more. Mm. Persona. See, so he even shouts out the Persona's name. No, I know, but like... Okay, whatever. <laughs> no, I'm not going to let you live this one down. <laughs> I found no, it for no. one moment. One moment's time. <laughs> but again, so it's fighting for this it's last open. game here. Air dodge more tries chances. to get... Yep. That can break shield. I'm just going to say that right now. The damage up from Rasen. <gasps> Tetracorn barely whiffing. Thank goodness for that lead snap. Yeah, there. it doesn't have the same proper. It doesn't have the same properties as Sora's, so that's very fortunate. Yeah, again, a very interesting strategy Zoran's employing, using utilizing the Rebel's Guard a lot. But again, gotta be careful you don't become too predictable at it. You're at a high percent right now, so. Mm. Are Lucina has forever. a strong F smash. That armor on it is not going to be infinite, of course, and of course it is very punishable. Always grab a bull as well, no hitbox to worry about. And there's the forest back yep. to get up attack. Very clean, Sook. Keeping them in the game. Game five we're going to. Here we go. Game five, winner take all. This is what I was talking about, all. man. It's a lot of pressure. You lose one game despite being up 2-0, and suddenly all that confidence goes away and it's left with doubt, insecurity. You got to make sure that, you know, you don't psych yourself out. You got those two games for a reason, and it proves that you can take a third. Yeah, 100%. I'm sure Prince and Dago are there behind Sook right now, patting them on the back, letting them know they got this right now. I mean, you're in game five. You're running that reverse for you right now. This is looking like it's possible. I mean, it's more than possible for Oxygen, but of course, if you're on the side of Zoran, try to clean it up and get, get that consistently back online and close up this game without letting a single chance slip by, because it's now or never double time now. I mean, I'd be stressed out if I was on the side of WSST. Oh, 100%. I would be, I'd be shaking right now. That's why I said I can't be an anchor. I don't, mm. I don't have those nerves of steel that required to be, that, that, like, that's required to be an anchor. Mm. I would flop so hard <laughs> in the anchor role. Like a yeah, fish out of water, it. man. <laughs> the pressure's tough. And, and team battles are a whole different scope of pressure, right? It's not just like you're worried about dropping your inputs or you're worried about not training for this matchup enough. Like, those are all very real worries, and they happen all the time anyway. But in a team battle like this, we've talked about it before, I mean, the pressure of trying to hold up your team on your back like that, make sure you guys can run at home, victors for the day, <sighs> that's rough. That's rough stuff. Yeah, we're getting all back right. in there. No character changes. From production no character here. changes, so they're sticking with the Joker. Very interesting decision, considering that the Sora is what won them those two games. Yeah. Lost one with the Sora, lost one with the Joker. I would think that you would switch back to the Sora here, but hey, maybe they thought the Joker was really successful there. It did look really good, actually. Got down to the last stock each, but just couldn't close it out, so I don't blame them for sticking here. And of course, it's still Joker, so like, yeah. come on. I feel like Sora as a character was so solid at closing out the stocks, not purely because Sora is really just an overall better character, but I want to at least, again, bring emphasis to that uppy situation where we're seeing um, Sook have such a hard time DIing it, right? If, you're, if you have a situation where your opponent's struggling to stay alive in a situation like that, that could be more than worth it, more than the character itself. I mean, Joker, of course, is such a solid character, but that one situation, to close out stocks, being that reliable, I'd take that every single day. Absolutely, absolutely. I think 
it's it's all about consistency. You brought it up yourself mm. earlier. Consistency is the reason you are the anchor, and regardless of what character you play, if you can prove that you are able to play to that consistent level and understand the individual characters, the individual matchups, that's what makes you so good and such a, an excellent player. And I think this is where we're going to see who the better anchor is, who has the most consistency. Yeah, especially speaking of consistency, Lucina is a great pick as an anchor character, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like... Yeah. Very un, very middle of the road, but still top tier somehow. Mm. And that's just because of the fact that she's a consistent character. Yeah. I mean, she brings out consistency in her own moveset, but also in the player as well. Really, like, not only showcasing, Requires but Requires understanding of, at the very basic principles of the game. Yeah. You need to know your basics to play Lucina. She's a good character, but she requires the basics. And at that, like, a level, a level that probably some people wouldn't even be able to reach. Yeah, I mean, at that kind of, like, the character genre of a fundamental multiplier, I like to call them, where your understanding and fundamental skill of the game is only exemplified by a character that's this basic, but this powerful, like Lucina. Alright, Rolls hits the Whoa. down smash. Ooh, you got Dolph twice slash. there. Nice little double jab. Petra Karn, get that counter that a little bit counter late. counter lasts so long, man. Ooh, counter of their own. Hey! And another counter. <laughs> oh, I was expecting it to happen again. That would have been huge. What? Yeah, I actually <laughs> thought they were gonna. I actually thought they were gonna do an F smash, but no. Rolls right past. Dash Very attack. Nice. That's the F tilt. Dancing blade. That's gonna fill our send meter to about half. So, very possible that our send's gonna get another chance to show up if. Zoran is not able to, or sorry, Sook oh, no. is not able to close out the game. Absolutely heartbreaking for Zoran right now. This could be intense. I think names are swapped real quick on the top, but yeah, the names go. are we swapped right now. It. There we go. <laughs> Get that correction. We can't Hopefully, they up. have their tags though. Entirely. See, tags are important. Tags are important. Don't just have something random as your tag. Like, mm. up, up production out. Yeah. Also. Really lucky on the side of Suck there. Throwing out a jab to that counter. Any higher damage a move, that could have been dead. Ooh, got the spike hitbox, but didn't go for an F smash. That's usually a confirm. F smash is right into the Rebel's Garden. And here he is, as quickly as he left. Mmm. Hashtag almost taking out the stock of Suck. Gonna stay alive here, just barely, but the Tetra Karn. We're gonna keep Zoran at least on the ledge there to get that edge guard situation, but not gonna lead to much. At neutral. You see Zoran try to recover. Hopefully. Suck and close up the stock to bring himself a two stock lead, but if you're zone, of course, you don't want that. Absolutely, Suck. <gasps> nice wait right there, but I think they could actually just charge up an F Smash if they ever see them using that Rebel's Guard. Oh, totally. I like the idea of using the Guard Breaker as well to try and cover the roll on and the get up attack from, from Zoran. Well, down there, of course. Oh, was that what oh, I thought I saw? Was that, a, was that, was that what uh, I thought I saw? I yes. thought I saw it. I taught, I taught, I tweet. <laughs> I taught, I taught, I tweet, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a touch oh. card. Rolls right to the F smash, and it's a last stock situation. Sook. Two it's stocks. Two one, yeah. to one. Full stock lead right now for Sook. For the mental? Every chance, every chance broken? to make this reverse 3 0, man. Yeah, like, I, I'm starting to feel like Sook might have really gone on the head of Zoran here. Looks like that's what's happening right now. They're just playing a very slow game. Zoran has no way of getting in right now. Arsene might help once he comes out here. Fourth little attempt. But again, Sook just taking their time, trying to wait out Arsene, survive the storm. Weather it through. Whiffing. Yeah, they're just whiffing all these smash attacks right now. <gasps> Zoran just can't get anything going. Look how fast Arsene is draining, too. Ah! Oh, my, my life would have flopped my eyes. <laughs> that that, that would have probably hurt. Probably not have killed because of the percent they were at. That's a layer off there. Perfect movement. And we're getting even more mental damage on the board here. I mean, hey, as long as it stays in the game, I think it's fair play. You know what I mean? You know what? Again, anything anything to win, right? Mm. People do it people do it at top level tournaments. Mind games. 100%. The mind games are important. The mental fortitude that that's you have it, with a player. That's it. It's just as important as the skill level. And of course, Sook pushing that forward smash with their own, bringing it 
home, of course, for the side of the Oxygen team. Very, very solid stuff. Congratulations, yo. That was good play. Oxygen team taking a big win right there. A reverse 3-0 mm. to take a game or the, the second the second series score for your team. Yeah. And allow you guys to win overall. Truly beautiful stuff, yo. I mean, reverse 3-0. That's hype. That's hype run. That's, that's some good stuff. That's, <laughs> that's some good stuff. Proves that you're a good anchor. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure Dago and Prince are popping off right now behind Sook. Great stuff to that Absolutely. team, of course. I cannot forget shoutouts. Of course, the team WSST, SG, Ace of Spades, and Zeron, y'all played amazing. I cannot, so, like, I cannot emphasize enough just how powerful y'all were and just how great a matchup this was as a head-to-head -head for our tournament today. I mean, of course, mm -hmm. once again, mm -hmm. I can't thank the players enough. It's been a good time. I think we got to thank everyone else there, Suplex. We got to oh, thank course. like Play Versus. We got to thank the Arizona Canyon, Canyon Athletic, Athletic Association. Association. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> our guys man and of course tgs we're with us all the time in the production you know giving us those updates those scores everything tags you name it everything you guys see on the screen including our beautiful faces all thanks to that that production team and the play versus working together good times yo but yeah once again thanks to players thanks to production and of course thanks to y'all viewers for watching it's been a fantastic time at cc we gotta bounce Get some food. You gotta bounce, man. I gotta get some food. I don't know it's about, about you. It's time. still a little early for you. It's getting a little late in the evening for me, so I definitely want to go get some food right now. Me, me, me. Yeah, you had a really nice afternoon, man. <laughs> so did but I. Uh, yeah. My afternoon was actually a fantastic. Oh, and it's been great. made great. even more fantastic with all this amazing gameplay. But, you know, the show must end. <laughs> yeah, we bro, have to say wrap. goodbye. That's a wrap. <laughs> that's a wrap. Catch y'all later. Thank you so much Thanks for watching, guys. In. Peace out, yo.